All right, so the story goes, it was my early teenage years, and I bought some sort of sketchy performance-enhancing drug from eBay. It was shipped over from China, don't know what was in it, ordered it, took it. I don't know if I knew how to read when I was 17, so I don't know if that, I think I just started taking it. Probably wasn't good, I don't recommend doing that. I spent a few days sleuthing up that account. The eBay account's not there anymore, but I still had the like email address associated with it, the archive emails. Oh, no way. This is the freaking. I found the order. To me, Waldo has always been more than just a way to play video games again without as many people cheating. To me, it's been about truth and uncovering truth that you couldn't once see. That was the stop. Nice, let's freaking go. Ultimately, more truth being visible than was before. So I've always imagined Waldo working like this. You just fire up a browser, type in the URL, and you just pick the clip that you wanna find out if they were cheating or not. Just the clip, no other data or information to go off of, and it automatically scans the important part of the video and gives you a prediction. Is this person cheating? No kernel data harvesting software, no stinking reboot your computer and mine Bitcoin for Russia. None of that, just video footage. Is this person cheating? And like five years ago when I had the vision for this, it was like, Waldo's significance is that it's visual and looking at the end result. You're nuts, bro. You're absolutely nuts. And then last year I showed that, that it works. You can detect if someone's cheating based entirely off the video footage. Nobody knows at this point how accurate it can be, but theoretically based on experts that are way smarter than me, it's pretty optimistic. There were four major hurdles to this project that had to be done before it could be a thing. First was kill isolation to feed the model. Like we need to feed the model just the kill shot, not like a 50 gigabyte raw clip or it would just be unreasonable. Second, a complex machine learning backbone where a model can be trained, fine tuned and inferenced with clips. And three, a big, valuable, smart, truthfully trained model to plug into that. But most importantly, and I can't stress this enough, a way for you, the viewer, to use it. Like you need to be able to use this. That's always been the vision. The first thing I did was design a Python program that simply looks for the headshot kill sound effect in Counter-Strike 2. That means currently it's limited to Counter-Strike 2. So if you have like a two hour VOD, it can go in and just automatically clip out the two second clips of kills. Those clips are then fed into the machine learning infrastructure that was designed by Matt Olson, also known as Gold. I intentionally would move the kill Kill shot frame plus or minus five frames. Okay, so that's why it's doing that on purpose. From the two second clips, it crops into the point of interest and extracts 16 frames of footage. And from there, it can use that data to train or fine tune a model or evaluate the clip for cheating against a model of your choice. What people will do is they'll actually do like five forward passes per video. Yeah. And then they'll move the frames around and then they take an average over all five. With all of that done, I spent a few weeks getting clips of cheats versus no cheats and trained a model. Oh, baby, you know what that beeping is? That's my uninterruptible power supply telling me we're pulling some watts, baby! Let's go. Now, as the model trains, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of the video, Straight Arrow News. Accept my opinion as your own or you are wrong and dumb, is what most news feels like today. So I was thankful when I found Straight Arrow News. I found them before they found me and sponsored this video. Straight Arrow News is all about bringing you unbiased, balanced news, designed for educating you in a trustworthy way and not just trying to get you so ticked that you comment on every article for the engagement. They don't give you this whole circus, they just give you facts and let you take them as you want, which is how news should be. Don't think I didn't look up the company either and do a little bit of research. Republican, Democrat. Smack in the middle. I've spoken with people at Straight Arrow News Direct and they are clearly genuinely interested in providing you the news without any additional garbage thrown in. So if you're looking for fact first reporting that respects your intelligence, go to san.com forward slash basically homeless. You can use my link in the description and directly support the channel. I personally always go to Straight Arrow News first before I look anywhere else because I know that the information they'll have there is going to be sound. There's this spot on their website where they'll show you the, the media miss, basically like what one side covered that the other side didn't cover because it didn't fit what they were trying to tell you. This is crazy, man. Why is it like that? <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thank you, Straight Arrow News, for sponsoring the video. 
So we have a model, but not the model. It's not like the end game model, but it does function. It'll give you a prediction. But like, what the heck? Why can't you use it? Getting this into your hands realistically has always been the biggest hurdle. For me to host a website where you go and feed clips and a machine learn model runs in the background, that'd be like in electricity alone, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. <laughs> Ain't enough sponsors around here for that. <laughs> then I had an idea. Instead of hosting all of this on painfully expensive servers, it could run locally on your graphics card. With the coding tools that are available today and a few months, I was able to take what I built that automatically clips the footage and what Gold built that functions as the machine learning backbone and plug in the model we have that's trained on 500 gigabytes of clips and build this. And we're stinking done. Boy, full screen, even F11 on the browser. Look at that. Three, four years later. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you, man, I think you got it. <laughs> so, like, I have it all stored, it, like, saves the evaluation results. By golly, you, you got it, man. <laughs> Let's freaking go. It's Waldo. And as of right now, at the time of recording this and releasing this video, you can use it. Bada bing, bada boom, you detailed results, Lou. Yes! Let's freaking go! But look me in the eyes, brother. This is not the one where you're gonna go get some old clip from a streamer you don't like because his head's too big or something and run it through there and say, oh, look everybody on Reddit. <laughs> He's cheating, I told you. This is not that. Yet, I mean, I don't really ever want it to be that. Watching some of the old Waldo videos now feels confusing almost, even to me. On one hand, it's an engaging topic for YouTube. They, they've got frozen pee from top athletes in the 80s, and if they tested them now, would likely show banned substances. But like, do you, do you really want that? I think vengeful justice seekers would be absolutely but on the other hand, I, I think I've, over the course of making this whole thing, I finally realized why I desire to find the truth. And it's, it's not for justice or even for curiosity. The truth I desire to find is not so that justice can be had. If you go back far enough, we're all guilty of something. Whether it's cheating or stealing or lying, none of us have lived a perfect life. I mean, shoot, man, when I was 14, I had a lag switch playing SOCOM Confrontation. Let him who is without sin cast the first stone. Do not use this tool to make accusations. If some kid on Reddit saying someone's cheating, they're like, well, Waldo, I know he said it, but Waldo said, nah, it doesn't matter right now. And I'll explain why. This will work on Windows, runs better on Linux, and is optimized to work on NVIDIA graphics cards with at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, I'm sorry. Go to the link in the description and download the zip file. The file name will probably be different. Extract it. Once you've extracted it, you will have these files. Right click this file, wsl-install.bat, run as administrator. I promise it's not a virus. Trust me, bro. Click run. This will look frozen, but it's not. It's installing Linux onto your Windows system. It's definitely not doing anything weird in the background. I'm joking. You can trust me, bro. Once that's done, restart your computer. Once you're rebooted, right click that same file, WSL install, run as administrator again. It'll prompt you here to set up a username and password. After that, you should see the Linux Penguin right here. All right, you're part of the club, bro. You're cool now. And you should see the Ubuntu installation that you just made. From there, double click WSL setup. Type in the password that you just made. It's gonna install all the dependencies and everything that's necessary to make Waldo run. Once all that's done, just double click WSL run dot bat. It'll connect to the Ubuntu environment and it will fire up Waldo. And then just paste this URL in your browser and you are running Waldo. But you won't have any models yet. You have to go download this model and then paste it in your Waldo directory, deep cheat, video may, output, and then go back to your web interface and refresh. If you're running Linux, I'm gonna assume you can read and still haven't showered. But that leads me to the final issue we always knew would be the biggest hurdle. All the clips that I train on, I know I'm not gonna lie. And that is 
getting properly labeled data. Most of you understand now that any trained model is only as good as the data it was trained on. All 54 clips, I was not cheating in. So this is a realistic result you might get. Two of them, it said 74% confidence that it's cheating. This model trained on 500 gigabytes of clips is essentially nothing. Literally a drop in the bucket. Actually, it's not even a drop in the bucket. It's like a fine mist spray on the edge of the bucket that evaporates quickly. Okay. The big know-all model doesn't exist yet and can't reasonably exist today. And then it's gonna churn up your GPU and your mom's gonna be ticked because your electricity bill is like a thousand dollars. Kevin, what are you doing in your room? Why was electricity three thousand dollars this month? Even if Linus had a big giant whale land where we could confirm cheating or no cheating, the processing power to to train it all isn't even feasible right now. There's my UPS beeping at us again, cause it's pulling some watts, baby. But in just about a year from now, with the progression of the hardware and the design of the things it takes to train these things, it will be feasible to exist. And instead of a $3 billion compute, it'll only be a fraction of a percent of that. But aside from just being able to reference it to a model that I train, I wanted to give you all the option to train your own model. You can train a model with just no understanding. So while we all wait, if you're so inclined, go get all your buddies together, get a bunch of clips, change the sound bite and, and train one for a different game. Take my base model and train up something that you choose to believe is truth. What about neuromuscular aim assist? This footage is just the raw footage. Probably about five of them I was cheating in or the neuromuscular aim assist actually kicked in. I have no idea what to expect right now. I knew it was possible. And I knew that this thing was always going to be a thing. And I would say that. And now it's a thing. I knew the implications of a tool existing like this. I was so excited. But there's, there's one thing I got wrong. And I just, I was totally, completely wrong. It processed those 22 clips. Let's see what it says. I said the words, extreme certainty. And that's simply not true. No matter how much clean data we manage to get one day, something like this is there. only ever going to give us the near 100% confidence level, a non-zero chance that it's wrong. To be honest, I think it just got it wrong. At the same time, I don't know if maybe it's detecting that I actually got shocked and like, like I don't know how it would know that. I mean, somehow they look fishy to the model. It's, it's in the soup, bro. <laughs> And then you're left with the question, what is truth? So what were the ingredients? Brother, I was taking vitamins. I don't know what made my nipples puffy. Puberty? I, I don't know. I had puffy nipples after I took this stuff. So maybe they were lying on the label, but based on what I looked up, I was just going through puberty taking vitamins. Never had steroids. <laughs> Pontius Pilate saying what is truth was crucifying the man that is known as truth. The truth is we're all guilty and deserving of punishment in one way or another. There is an ultimate right and an ultimate wrong. We have the opportunity to choose. And this man Jesus lived the perfect life, was crucified as the perfect sacrifice, came back to life. Because of that, because of Jesus and what he did, the truth doesn't have to equal revenge. And now whoever chooses to turn from sin and choose to follow him will receive the gift of grace. I think the desire to see grace is what ultimately fuels my desire for truth. We're walking, Nicholas. Just passing through.